So in order to program, you need to find out what are you going to do. What so you always say, do okay, what am I going to do today? Am I going to do push-ups? Am I going to run? Am I going to pick up weights? You know, what am I going to do? And the way CrossFit does this is that they break it down into three categories. We have weightlifting. That's our first category. We have gymnastics. And we have monostructural. So monostructural, if you want to say cardio for another term. The reason why CrossFit says monostructural is because everything you do gets your heart rate up. So if you do weightlifting, if you do a bunch of you know sit-ups or if you do a lot of whatever on this side, you're still going to get your heart rate up. So they call this one monostructural. They want to keep it totally separate because they are all cardio in the end. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is weightlifting. What is a weightlifting movement? One is what? Squats. And we want to stick to functional movements. So a lot of work over a short period of time, if you will, or uh, large loads over long distance in the shortest amount of time. What else besides squats? How about benching? You guys are used to this stuff, bench press, right? What about squat cleans? I'll just put SQ clean, squat clean. What about snatches? Okay, what else? What else is a weightlifting movement? Uh, deadlift, DL for deadlift, okay? So you're, you're gonna, what you want to do is you want to put together weightlifting movements. What are your weightlifting movements? And then we're going to come over here to gymnastics. Gymnastics are anything that's just your body. So let's say push-ups. Okay. What about sit-ups? What about body squats? People don't even think about that one. Ooh, body, body squats. Squat. What else? Can anybody think of anything else? How about a handstand push-up? How about ring muscle-ups? Or how about muscle-ups? So as you can see, all of these are just with your body. So these are gymnastic movements. Okay, now let's move to the third category. What do we have here? Monostructural. What do you think some cardio-type movements would be? Obviously, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Running. Running's a good one, obviously. What else? Swimming. What else? Rowing. Ski erg. If anybody's ever been on a ski erg. How about the uh, salt bike? Or any type of bike, to be honest with you. Especially an assault bike. Okay? So these are your cardio movements. Monostructural, if you will. So now that we've got these broken down, we have weightlifting, we have gymnastics, and then we have monostructural. Okay? So there's our three groups. Now we want to program. Now we want to say... Let's put together this cake, if you will. We're going to be a bakery. We're going to bake a cake. So we're saying, okay, what are we going to do today? We want to work out. We want to program something. So first thing we're going to do is we look at what can we do? Well, the first thing you got to look at is that you have workouts that are singles, if you will. One workout, one, one movement, if you will. Then we have couplets. These are, these are workouts with two different exercises. Then we have triplet. Triplet. I think that's triplet, right? Then we also have, we have four. If you want to get down here, then we have five. You can actually put five workouts in there. So let's say, let's go to a single. A lot of times when you're doing singles, it's more or less on a day when you want to practice something. And for the most part, you can do a weightlifting movement, you can do a gymnastic, you can do a monostructural, you can do any of these on a single day, obviously. But let's say for a, for a single, let's say you're looking at weightlifting. You want to do, okay, let's say you're going to do squats. Okay, you're doing squats. Uh, there's, two vi there's two different variations that you can do on a single day. You can either go heavy at low reps or you can go light at high reps. That would be a single day. And you can do the same thing with any of these. Gymnastics, you could do muscle ups. Let's say for your muscle ups, you know, let's say that you're either working on your muscle ups, period. You're just going to work on them. So I'm going to put muscle ups, you know, you're just working on them. You're not good at them. Or maybe you are good at them. So maybe you're going to try to do 30 muscle ups unbroken for the day that's going to be your workout so as you can see 
as a single, you can do any of these. You can also do run. If you're running for a single, you can do either long distance over, you know, a longer time, or you can go, you know, shorter distance in a faster time. So singles, you can do any of these. Okay, let's get to a couplet. Okay, couplets and triplets, I will say, when it comes to these two, this is where CrossFit lives. These are the two main ones. So a couplet, all you want to do with a couplet is you can combine these. So we're going to circle the W for weightlifting, the G for gymnastics, and the M for monostructural. So what you want to do on a couplet, you can put any of these together. You can say weightlifting, uh, gymnastics. You could say weightlifting, uh, monostructural. You could say, well, actually, you could say weightlifting, weightlifting. You can put these together in any way, shape, or form, as long as there's two different ones. Uh, a real famous one workout that we have, it's called the Fran. And I'm putting it up right now on the screen. So Fran. And Fran is basically a weightlifting movement and a gymnastic. So it's basically thrusters and pull-ups. It's a really, really big staple in CrossFit. A lot of guys will come up or a lot of girls come up and say, okay, what is your Fran? And they know what that means. Or, so there's other, move, there's other workouts with just a couplet. And then you have triplets. So let's see what we have for triplets. Obviously, we can do a weightlifting. Let me get this marker working. We can do a gymnastic, and we can do a monostructural. So one of each. A good one for a triplet, uh, we have, it's called Helen. So Helen is nothing more than a four, it's, it's run. It's basically a 400 meter run. It's kettlebell swings, and what else is that? And pull-ups if you will. So basically you have a monostructural, you have a weightlifting, and then you have gymnastics. So Helen. Helen is a big staple. That's a big famous one. So as you can see, couplets and triplets, you can put these together in any way, shape, or form. Uh, for a triplet, you can do you could do all monostructural if you want. MMM. You could do weightlifting, weightlifting, weightlifting. You can do weightlifting, monostructural, monostructural. I mean, however way you want to put this together. And that's basically get into your programming. Now, they do have a four and a five. Uh, this one is uh, basically you're putting four of these together. So if you want to, you could do a weightlifting, a weightlifting, and then you could do a gymnastic with the monostructural. Or you could do, you know, you could, you could see how many different, well, there's hundreds of ways you can do this. And then for five, you want to put five of these together. Uh, a good one on this one, a workout that we have, is called a fight gone bad. A fight gone bad bad on a fight gone bad it's a weightlifting weightlifting it's a gymnastics weightlifting and then a monostructural and that's a pretty tough one if you want to look that out but in in, in, re, in essence this is your programming so you're taking a weightlifting a gymnastic move and a monostructural movement and you're putting it together in some way shape or form you're putting it together it's like a puzzle and it's really neat because you can put these together in any way shape or form and then on top of that you can get into your numbering scheme so let's say that you have weightlifting and I'm on a, or let's say the Fran. Fran is weightlifting and gymnastics. It's a 21, 15, 9 exercise. But guess what? You could just make these, you could just say I'm going to do 21 on each one for three rounds instead of uh, 21, 15, 9. You could say 21, 21, 21. So you could change it up any way you want. It's really nice. It's really neat. So, and that's the neat thing about CrossFit is that you're always pushing yourself. You're always getting better. And you only need to be better than you were yesterday. Okay, the last one we're going to talk about is a chipper. So if you've ever been around or drove by somewhere where they're in the neighborhood and they got these trailers are pulling behind the truck and they're sticking these trees inside of them and this thing is grinding them up. They put in a tree and then out the end comes mulch. And that is a chipper, and that is basically what a chipper will do to you. <laughs> it, you will put you through a grinder, and it spits you out. But in reality, what it is, is when you're looking at a chipper, uh, you can have, let's say, five different exercises, if you will. Okay? Uh, I mean, you can put whatever you want in this. You can program it. And let's say that on this one here, it's it's 50. It's 50. It's 50. So you can do that all the way down for a chipper. So basically, you're chipping away at it. Or I've seen them where this one, the first exercise, is 100 reps. And then the second one is 80, and then 60, and then 40, and then 20. 
So I've seen that before. So in a way, as you're going down, you're, you're dwindling it down little by little. So anyway, these are called chippers. These are really good exercises. Normally, CrossFit does a three-on-one-off, or they'll do a uh, three-on-two-off. A lot of people do three-on-one-off. Uh, the boxes, they'll be open five days a week. So I've seen people do five days a week and then take the weekend off. So they'll do a five and a two. It's totally up to you. I mean, even if you're on a three-and-one-off, you're feeling really tired, you know, on, on your first day back, maybe you could take that day off. So just kind of leave your ego at the door. Take it easy. Just remember you're in this for fun and for fit. You want to become more fit. You don't want to hurt yourself. So, But the schedule is whatever you want to make of it. I will say that you do need to go heavy once in a while. So I would say at least once every week or week and a half, somewhere in there, you need to go heavy. So if you're working on, let's say, a deadlift or a squat or back squat or something, you really need to go heavy. And I don't mean go in there and do like, you know, mess around a little bit and say, wow, that was great. I mean, you need to go to war. You need to get in there and you need to really push it on those heavy days because that's what's going to help you with the rest of your workouts. I can tell you that. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have not yet, uh, smash the like button. Uh, consider subscribing for more videos on fitness and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.